Historical documents, like maps and photographs, provide valuable information as to what might be in a location before the ground is ever disturbed. When a foundation is found, you know what it is because it's exactly where an old map or photograph said it would be. Early maps of Alexandria like this one can provide very crucial information, but today, archaeologist Dr. Benjamin Skolnick will show some of the more modern maps and photographs of Alexandria that he finds most useful to his work. This is the first really good look that we get uh, in the pages of this uh, Hopkins Atlas uh, of the of Old Town Alexandria. Um, and so if it's standing in 1877 and it's bigger than, you know, a shed um, or a stable, it's on this map. And when we do archaeology here in the city, we're frequently cross-checking what we're seeing in the ground against this map. And then conversely, we, went, we check this map to see if there's something on it to help us, to help guide us um, uh, when we're planning our excavations. Uh, whereas when the Sanborn Map Company comes along and they do their atlases, um, these are fantastic for figuring out the um, you know remnants of foundation walls that we find in the ground. Um, they're color coded based on what the buildings are made out of. They tell us how many stories the buildings are, what the roofs are covered with, uh, how many windows they have, sometimes where the windows are, what the building's used for. Um, they're fantastic. So in the early 20th century, there's two pieces of technology that come together that bring us aerial photographs. Uh, the two we use the most are 1927, this one, and 1937. They're great in that they show, we're, I'm not, I don't have to rely on an early 20th century cartographer drawing lines on a piece of paper showing me where buildings are. Uh, the photograph captures them. Where I'm at a disadvantage is now all the hard work has been dropped on my lap. Now I have to figure out what it is that I'm looking at what these buildings are, how tall they are, what they could be used for, what's this little blob, what's this little blob, is it the thing that I'm seeing in the ground archaeologically, or is it, you know, is it a guy's car that is gone the next day. Um, this is the thing that uh, I use at work. And this is, uh, in a nutshell, this is our digital atlas. Uh, this is our GIS tool. GIS is um, an acronym uh, for Geographic Information Systems. And basically, it's just a digital map. Uh, what it lets you do is take any piece of spatial information. Uh, you can tell the computer where that piece of spatial information is supposed to live on the surface of the earth. And then you can drop it in on top of any other piece of spatial information that you want. Um, what you're looking at here, I think one, two, three, three or four different pieces of information. I've mapped the city boundary line there in black. Uh, I've mapped individual property uh, individual properties or parcels there in the pink. And all of that is laid on top of um, the, that 1927 aerial photograph. And so what it lets me do is if a project comes up um, through um, uh, uh, the Archaeological Protection Code or the Code Office, with this I can, I can go to any address in the city and toggle through any of the 100 or 200, I've lost track of how many I have now, um, historic maps of the city that show us things that existed in the past. And so I think a lot of archeologists, they spend their entire careers asking the question, uh, when, how old is something? Uh, when was this thing put in the ground? When was it made? When was it used? Uh, I think for me, what's much more interesting is this question of where, where is something? And using GIS, I'm able to take all of these historic maps, uh, I'm able to sort of go through between them and, um, follow through time changes throughout the city. If you're interested in doing your own local map research, you can start with the Alexandria Library Special Collections, Fairfax County Historic Records Center, the Library of Virginia, the Library of Congress, National Archives, or the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Or reach out to Alexandria Archaeology. You can visit our museum or website or ask us a question at archaeology at alexandriava.gov.